friends, I'm Anne. I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Octavia Fullin Public Library in Gallup, New Mexico. This is the first in a series that is going to highlight the five practices of early literacy as outlined by every child ready to read. And I've got a song so that you'll never forget them. So our song goes like this. It goes, talk, sing, read, write, play. 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 Hooray! All right, we're gonna focus on our first of those practices, which is talking. So we'll start off with some tips for infants ages zero to about 18 months. So the first word that a child ever learns to recognize is their own name. And anything that you say directly after you address them by their name is the word that they're going to make the strongest connection to. So if you were to ask a child, Julie, would you like your rabbit? The first word that she hears after her own name is would, which doesn't create a very strong connection. But if you were to say, Julie, rabbit, would you like your rabbit, she makes a connection that this is a rabbit. For toddlers, ages about 24 months to about 36 months, um, I know they can be very difficult to talk to sometimes, but a lot of that can be solved with just a little bit of patience. So what you'll do is after you're done talking, you're going to pause for between two and five seconds to give your child enough time to think about what you've said and formulate their response. So if you ask them, would you like the rabbit? or would you like the duck, you have to give them about five seconds to completely process what you've said, and then they will answer you. If you keep talking to them, it's going to take them longer to continue to listen. And lastly, for your preschoolers, ages three to four, you wanna to talk to them about not just things that are happening right now, but things that are happening in the future or things that have happened in the past. So you want to ask them open-ended questions like, what did you and your rabbit do yesterday? Or what would you like to learn about tomorrow? Or what have you done in the last week that you really liked? What was the last activity we did today that you enjoyed? Those sorts of things. So those are my tips for communicating with your kids. Um, remember to keep talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. <laughs>